hello everyone thank you for coming up today my old subscribers thank you and to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video and to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing please do not forget to hit on the like button there is an update regards to Two Face Edibia and his wife Annie. You know, Annie released another audio recording. She said a whole lot in that recording. But at the same time, Two Face is standing up to say something after all of the saga that has been placed out there online. And as we know, both celebrities, a lot of people have gotten involved. Even some top government officials have also gotten involved. And, you know, since they brought it out online, you know, online, social media is a marketplace. You have different people troop in and out. And, you know, definitely they are celebrities, both his wife and himself. You don't expect anybody to just keep short. You will get to hear different comments from different people. Both those that are in support and those that are not in support. Well, people are obligated to their own opinions. Today, the veteran singer, Two Face, has for the first time reacted to his wife, Annie Idibia, and her family's messy fight with his own family on social media. The actress, her family members, and her husband's siblings had a heated exchange which resulted in wild allegations last weekend. Two-Face now spoke up after his wife was heard in an audio recording threatening to scatter everything. In the audio, she accused the singer of lying to her and that his family doesn't like her and have made her life a living hell. In that audio, these were the words that came out from Two-Face's wife, that's Annie Idibia. She said this, I am going to scatter everything. Nobody knows the wrath of an angry woman. I ruin everything. Hello, Idibia family. This is Annie. Today, everything was peaceful. Nothing happened. My husband told me he had a shoot today only for him to pack his things and his stupid cousin, Frankie, helped him to plan it. His family does not love me. They hate me. They have been giving me headache for the past 10 years. Today, my husband lied to me. He packed his things that he was going for a shoot, but he is on his way to America. This was planned by himself and Frankie, all behind my back. I don't deserve this. I don't. I know this is not your business, but I can't call any member of his family. I can't even call his manager. He would not pick my call because he thinks I am standing in his way. My husband is on his way to America without telling me. I'm done. You can see from this particular words that Annie is really, really upset. She is now saying her husband left her traveling to America without even letting her know that this is where he was actually going to. If it's true that Two-Face has traveled down to America without letting his wife know, any woman in Annie Idibia's shoes would feel the same. But right now her pain is that she can't even communicate with anybody. No one is ready to listen to her. Neither his family member nor his manager. Imagine that she is in, in a very difficult situation, but you can't communicate with anybody. Looking at Annie Idibia's frustration, you can see reasons why she is coming out online to let people know what is happening. But notwithstanding, bringing issues like this online doesn't really help matters because not everybody out there is happy for your peace. And not everybody out there is ready to help you mend your home. And to make it worse, some people are even excited to see that more problems are coming up in the home. But it's more difficult on Annie Idibia's position right now because she has cited that she is all 
on her own. No one is backing her up. Neither is anyone out there to listen to her. You know, the thing about issues and what make drive people a whole lot crazy is because you're going through a lot, you're struggling and you're speaking up, but nobody seems to hear you. It's like everybody has developed deaf ears. You want to share out your pain, but no one is there to listen to you. Probably this may be the frustration that Annie is going through that has made her to come online to voice out because she is saying here that there is no one for her to talk to. No one for her to call. Right now, she says that even the manager says that she is standing in the way of her husband's success. And if we can recall, a few days ago when Two-Faces brother Charles came up to fire back at what Annie Dibia had said, he made a statement that his brother is dying gradually, citing that Annie has been in the way of his brother and making things difficult for his brother. And as such, it has led to his brother being an unhappy man even in his home. Well, in all of this, definitely you don't expect both parties to be happy. Everybody is upset. Everybody has what this other person has done. The other person is saying what this person has done. And that is why there's more log ahead because it's either they've been keeping a lot to themselves. No one wants to speak out. No one wants to sit down, either have a meeting, both families and iron things out. That is why it has gotten this bad. The more these things are coming out on social media, if you calculate it very well, the more messy it's going to become for this family. And it's going to be difficult to reconcile issues like this that are coming out in the public because you're having different opinions different comments both those that are lashing back and those that are even supporting you will get to see people that are even going to hurt your feelings with the comments they are going to make it's better both of them sit down in fact since it involves both families they should all sit down as a family have a forum where they would iron things out and let everything end up peacefully from all indication, both families are not even in good terms with each other. Okay, now, you know usually in a family, when things are going wrong, the first thing they'll ask the wife is, have you spoken to your husband's people? But now Annie seemed to make people understand that his family members are not even ready to listen to her because they don't like her. And that things have been difficult for her. She's been living like she is just in hell because his family members have pushed her to that point. However, his family members too have things to say about Annie. You can see that this kind of a fight will just keep on lingering because everybody is coming up with his or her own pain, anger and frustration. And you can see Two-Face kept quiet all this while. But he decided to come out today and posted something on his Instagram page. He has reacted to this messy fight, which has taken several turns in the last few days. Stated that though bringing their personal issues to social media was not cool, that's what he was saying. And he will, however, not sit back and watch everybody have a free for all battle in the name of love or solidarity, knowing that. So many people, a lot of people, like I said earlier, both top government officials, celebrities, a lot of people have gotten involved with the online family issues that have been brought out in the open by his wife. To him, he's not finding that funny, neither is he finding that interesting because some people are there trying out love and some are saying a lot. If you could recall, two days ago, one of the top government officials told Two-Face, Go ahead and just have a polygamous family. Another person said, you're already married to Peru. So you have two wives and you have kids from both of them. So just have a home where you know that you are not a man marrying one wife. You have more than one wife. Some people came out in support of Annie saying that she is pained. And out of the pain she's going through, that is why she is online. Also, one of the media influencers that's blessing okoro we know she is also a therapist she came out and said with regards to the statement that came from charles idibia that is two faces younger brother where he cited that 
Annie Idibia's mother has been using charms while in the house. Bless Nokoro made a statement said, if Annie Idibia was actually using charms with her mom, then Two-Face would not cheat because what those charms are meant for, if they're actually using them, is to stop Two-Face from seeing another woman. Then Two-Face would just be clinging to Annie alone. And Blessing said, it means that if Two-Face is cheating, Annie Dibia is not using any charm. You know, people that would always use things like that, diabolical means, they will always do it in their favor. And if Annie Dibia is complaining that Two-Face is still having an affair with his baby mamas, then where is the charm working? Or does it mean that the charm is working in an opposite direction? That is what Blessing came out to point out. So you can see that different people are coming out to say different things. Another one said people should stop lashing back at Annie because no one understands the frustration she is going through. And you see, Annie has made it clear here that she has no one to talk to. And she knows that bringing out issues online is nobody's business. But at the same time, if only she could speak with either his family member or even his manager to communicate, then probably she may not have brought all of this online. But being surrounded by people that don't have good intentions for her, from what she is saying that his family members and even some of his colleagues, they are not taking things okay with her at all. And sometimes we don't push so much on someone that has come out online like this. Like a statement that goes, he who wears the shoes know where it's pinching him or her. Annie knows where her shoes are pinching her, either on her toe or wherever. But notwithstanding, coming online for her, is another way of bringing out what is happening to see if she can get any form of help or solution to what is happening because she's expressing here too many frustration and when you can't talk to your in-laws with regards to what's happening in the family friends in a situation like this what do you think that annie should do and bringing out issues on social media most times has never helped matter at all because not everybody out there is happy with you and not everybody out there is ready to help and see how they can assist you to mend issues or to create peace in your home then is she to go to either places where she can seek for help friends this is kind of a difficult situation for annie and that is why she is presenting it openly on social media but two-face has urged everyone including their families that's both families, his own family and Annie's family, and also supporters to respect their privacy and their kids as they deal with the issue internally. The singer also turned off the comment section of his Instagram post. You know, he's been having too many comments, a lot of people commenting and saying too many things. You know, you'll be getting so tired and it can be very frustrating, especially when you hear hurtful comments from people. You know, nobody's in the house with them. Despite the fact that Annie Dibia has brought out everything in the open, there may be certain things that has not been laid out there in the open. And that is why he doesn't want this to keep up like this. What he is actually saying is very cool and it's okay, it's fine because he's not out here insulting anybody. Neither is he trying to say he's on the side of his family. Neither is he trying to say he's not on the side of his wife. He's just being neutral with his statement, which I think it's very, very clear. And these were his exact words on his Instagram page. I admit that bringing our personal issues on social media was not cool. But I will not sit back and watch everybody have a free-for-all battle here in the name of love or solidarity. None of us is perfect. I would like to urge our families and supporters to stop the madness and the public to please respect our privacy and our kids. Let us deal with our issues internally. I am begging you all in God's name. You can see that he just wanted to set his statement straight, not hiding or bringing anything out. And he is not saying he's supporting anybody here, but just want people to 
lay back and let them handle their issues, which is very good. But the truth is this. So long as this has come up online, it will be difficult to shut anybody from talking. Someone said something. The person said, your wife brought the issue online and then you don't expect people not to participate. When it's brought online, it's like you're saying, please contribute say what you want to say and so people will definitely contribute that's what someone is saying here that if these things were not brought out on social media which is a public place then no one would have gotten involved because no one would know what is really happening it's a pity that such problems are still lingering off and on however we hope and pray that they settle all of this issue there's no family that don't have issues it's just because this is now in the public eye of everybody and then that is why people get to know what's happening. Those that didn't bring out their own, you wouldn't know. Some people may be going through worse things than what Annie is going through and two face. So it's when you bring out your own, that's when people would know. But when you don't bring out your own, you hide it inside, nobody would know. And usually that is the best thing for you to do. It may be very difficult, especially if you're a celebrity or you're a social media person. It's difficult for you to keep in what you're going through in your home. But that is the best. Once you're able to contend with the issue in your home and try to resolve it within, it will go a long way in maintaining a better peace. But once it's out there in the public, you'll find out that things will keep getting worse and worse because you're hearing different things from different people. You've just created an avenue for people to chip in even things that are uncalled for, even things that you shouldn't hear, you will start hearing them. And that can be more frustrating. Annie Idibia is just expressing the amount of frustration she is going through. Most times they said a problem shared is half solved. But bringing it out in the public is not the best at all because you will just end up hurting yourself the more. It is not easy when women are going through pains and then no one is listening to them, especially when they are married. The first people they are supposed to call is their in-law because these are the people that are closest to the husband. So you will involve them and call them so as to let them know what is happening. But in her own situation, she can't get that kind of a relationship or communication with her in-laws because they are not in good terms. No one is supporting the fact that Annie should keep up bringing it online. But then look at another angle too. She is really, really frustrated. She just wants to hear and see if she can get help because she is going through a lot of pain. However, Two Face Two will be going through a lot of pain because no man will be happy to see that his family issues are brought out in the public. And especially when you are a celebrity, a well known person, and a lot of people are seeing that, oh, this is what's happening in his home. Even when you don't want people to know, that can be very, very hurtful. So, in as much as the wife is so pained and she's frustrated and bringing it out in the public, for the fact that Two Face has not spoken doesn't mean that. He is not going through some pain too. So both of them have their own pain they are going through. Both families have the pains they are going through in all of this problem that is happening in the family. Well, if Two-Face has gone to America, as Annie Idibia has said, we hope he's coming back so that they can all resolve this. However this whole thing turns out to be, the major thing is let peace reign at the end. No matter how difficult it may be to settle this issue, but at the end, we hope and pray it comes to a halt. And you know, families with kids involved and all of that, it's not always good because these kids are grown to understand, read and write and to know what's happening. And when they go out there, some kids will use that at them, like we're saying what's happening in your family and that doesn't make kids feel comfortable when they're even amongst their peers. It's not just them that are going through family issues. A lot of people are struggling out there, even worse things than what Annie is going through. So, but once yours is not out there in the open, nobody gets to know. 
And at that point, it makes things much more easier for you and your family to be able to settle these things because you know each other more than the outsider, more than the society know you. And so it's easier and better for you to keep things within the home, within your family and settle it amicably. Friends, what do you all think with regards to the release audio that Annie has just released, citing her husband leaving to America without letting her know? And expressing how much her in-laws hate her and also expressing that she can't even communicate with anybody for anybody to listen to her are you in support of her coming out online despite what she has said that no one is listening is it the best way for her to make people listen to her or for people to hear her pain that she is going through or do you think it's still better for her to keep things inside her home Friends, please, whatever you think about this, you could put that down at the comment section. We pray for peace to reign again in these families. Friends, thank you for coming out today. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.